Dang, you can tell from my outlet. They just put it in here. Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Hey everybody, today is January 28th and it is 6.21 p.m. I was supposed to work out today, but I'm tired. That time of the month, so my mood is all the way off. So I'm about to go pick up some food. I'm all relaxed. It's really late and we still haven't had lunch yet. So I'm gonna head out. So this is what I'm wearing. This is the black outfit that I had told y'all about. So I'm about to head out now. I'm gonna go pick up this food and then I'll be back. I'll see y'all in the car. I'm supposed to be headed to go pick up some food, but I don't think the food is ready. And I've had this itch inside of me to get some stuff for the house, okay? Because I don't know if y'all seen about our apartment. I really haven't done like an apartment tour, but we've been there for almost a year and we just didn't invest in furniture because to be honest when we moved in we was like oh girl <laughs> mama is expensive a two-bedroom <clears throat> in atlanta is a grip so i wasn't really focused on spending loads of money decorating it even though i had this huge desire to decorate it we bought our sectional bought our sectional um and that was our big purchase and then i kind of did some decorating in the office but i really really want to complete my office the living room the bedroom we need lamps we need new lighting like we need more stuff for our place because we threw away everything from our last place you gotta have time and money and we have none of that so now you know I ain't got no other job so I mean technically I have more time but I kind of don't so but like right now I'm gonna go eat something Ooh, I want to run by home goods I think that's that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run by the home goods real quick and see if they got something in there for me somebody gotta have something for me girl so now I have a couple of minutes while they making our food I got a couple minutes to run by the home goods and see what they got. And if they don't got nothing, they got they ain't got nothing. But like, there's so many things I want to get. Like, I want to get soap dispensers. I want to get photos for the wall. I want to get, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much stuff that I want to get. Maybe I'll have to revisit this tomorrow. But today got away from me. Like, I just, ooh, I need to get better with time management. I'm venting because I'm getting on my own nerves. I wonder if Home Goods be having anything. Cause the girls have been saying that Home Goods has been late, tied through and delayed. I hope not. But I'm gonna try and find something. I don't even know what I'm trying to find. So I'm just trying to like make myself feel better about the fact that I've been trying to go to Home Goods <clears throat> for the past couple months. And I haven't been able to make it, so. What time is it? It's like six something. I've just been real scatterbrained and today is probably not the day to do it, but I need something to make me feel better. So that's what I'm gonna do. Said my order would be ready in 30 minutes. So it's been like 10. It's probably ready now because our order was pretty simple. Oh, they close at nine. Today's Friday. Ew, okay. Let's go. Let's go ahead and go into Home Goods. Let's do a Home Goods run. Let's make ourselves feel like girls. Let's see what they got in Home Goods, cause I know the girls be saying they ain't got nothing. Let's see what they got. Okay. I don't even have a cart because. I don't think I need one. I don't even know what I'm in here for. See, I like this stuff. I'm like these are really, really cute. Like I need to put stuff in the bathroom. But these tops are purple. Why would they do purple tops? I don't understand. So 
I'm looking for like bathroom things. Like this is nice. I'm looking for like sleek things. Like this is sleek to me. But like this stuff is like country. I don't really find anything and I need to go home. So I need to go pick up our food. <sighs> okay, girl. So I spent like maybe five minutes with 643. Maybe five minutes at Home Goods. And girl, I didn't find nothing, child. Well, I didn't really look. I said five minutes, so I didn't really look. I didn't even know what I was looking for. But they did have a couple things that I really liked. I was looking for, like, they had one thing that I exactly needed. Like, one thing I needed. But they only had one of them. I need um, two, like, rounded black mirrors for above me and my husband's nightstands both our nightstands beside our bed so i wanted that and they had it but they only had one and i need two if i saw two i would have bought it whoo hey y'all i am who first of all today is <clears throat> what's today january 29th saturday january 29th it's 5 31 p.m and i just left the gym Who's proud of me? Actually, I need to turn this heat off. Y'all probably can't hear me. Who is proud of me? I went to the gym today. Ugh. Y'all, I don't know if I put the foot in gym, but I was ranting yesterday because I was I was, I was over every day. Y'all know that feeling when you over everything? I was over it. And now I'm not. <laughs> I'm feeling better. Um, feeling a lot more energized and grateful and not as like ugh. you know how you just get girl my period's coming so everything is getting on my nerves now i get easily frazzled and overwhelmed by small things well i wouldn't say small i'm eas easily overwhelmed so if something just throws off my day i need to sit down okay i need to just take the day or however much time i need and regroup and then restructure my schedule around like my mental health girl but my day is better i was able to go to the gym and now ooh, see my i'm a no i'm annoyed now <laughs> mama needs a car mount i don't even know what's happening uh okay so um that almost ruined my day this thing falling like that almost ruined my day I don't know if it's a Gemini thing. I don't know if it's a Gemini thing because I heard Aaliyah's face say that that happens to her. I don't know if she meant the same thing, but like something small can literally throw your whole day off. Small, but something like an irritation can throw your day off. And that's just what happened to me. My camera fell and I wanted to throw my camera out the window. Somebody help me. <laughs> Anyway, girl, we finally made it to Target. I had to take a second. I had to take a moment because I was like irritated. Now that the moment has been taken, I'm back on track. Let me grab my list of things that I need to do. Things I need to grab. My husband just gave me one more thing to grab, so. Boom, got my list and we about to go inside. Go inside, Gri. Okay, so <clears throat> but we're gonna get the non-fun stuff before I go and look at some home decor. I'm so excited about the home decor. Yeah. Ooh, and I need to get some jelly. The girls be eating up all the jelly, and it makes me mad. Okay, finally, I got all my boring stuff. All my food, tea. All that stuff. Y'all see me get this stuff. But I was telling my husband that 
I wanted a couple things for um, like photos or something for over the couch. I feel like y'all, there's a man following me. Oh, that's a cute one. Y'all, there's a man following me here. It's creeping me out. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I feel like he's following me, but sometimes I feel like I'm crazy. But it's weirding me out. Ooh, like these mirrors are cute. Okay, so what I need is large wall art like this. But it's hard to find large wall art that's like big, good for 15 foot ceilings, really high ceilings. That's not like doing too much. Hmm. See, that's why I don't get anything. Oh, these are ten dollars. These are faux plants. So cute. They have faux plants for ten dollars. But I don't know where I would put it. I know the girls be buying stuff and just putting it anywhere, but I'm not trying to do that. I don't have enough energy to do like a collage on a wall. So I'm just gonna have to buy a big photo. 24 by 36. I don't know if you can tell, but this is 24 by 36. Order something online and have it sent to the house. Something with a print in it, girl. I, but these clear lamps. They're $40 each for the bedroom. I'm not in love with it, but I think they're really cute. And we need lamps for our bedroom. This one's cute too, but they don't have two of them. And I kind of want something with like a charging port for our phones. And this one has it like a charging port right here. So you can charge your phone on it. I'm gonna keep looking. But I think I found something for the bedroom. Hey y'all, so I'm finally home. I spent a whole bunch of time at Target doing nothing. And I really do feel like somebody was following me too. But I was doing a whole bunch of nothing. And now I'm home. I mean, like I spent way too much. I only got a couple things that I did. I told y'all I got stuff for food. But I also got um, like a couple things. I was about to buy some lamps and I ended up not buying the lamps, but I did get some other stuff that I would like in these candles. I got some candles. This is the, what brand is this? The candle fell out. What is going on? There's candle on the cement. Okay, so there is, this candle smells good though, but this is the Threshold candle in soft cashmere lavender. I got three candles. Uh, let's see, I also got, I love this candle, but we don't burn it that much. I think I'm gonna put it in our bathroom. This is a charcoal and black teak. It's like a really masculine sort of smell. And then I have, let's see, I have the Ashwood and Palo Santo. Palo Santo. Is this one gonna fall out too? Oh, it smells good. It's like, it smells like oak wood and patchouli. It's sweet. Oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to burn these. So I got those three candles. Okay, so I also needed to get mugs. I've been wanting to get clear mugs, but these are the mugs I ended up getting. I got a black one. This one's really cute. It was $5. That's expensive for a mug, but it's a nice big mug and i love drinking tea y'all know i keep my tea i bought some more tea but this is a cute mug i kind of want to go black for decor because the white i feel like if we incorporate black it'll make it look more chic so. <clears throat> and i got another mug it's the but i need to get some clear mugs i've been looking on amazon for clear mugs but these things expensive they're trying to charge like 30 40 dollars for like four mugs and I'm like no I don't I don't want to do that but this mug is kind of like my gray one but this is like a tan colored stone I guess it's like a stone colored mug 
I think that's pretty. I just wanted like really nice mugs. Okay, I also got these towels. Now, I don't think my husband's gonna like these towels, but they're black and they're cute. And I don't know if y'all seen in the background, we wash our towels, right? But like this one right here is white and it just has like, cause you use it when you're cooking and stuff like that and it gets all icky colored. And I like the black because you can't see, you know, once you use it over and over and over again. So, I mean, I have that. We're gonna get rid of those white ones. And I'll see if he likes this. I love how they're waffle textured, but my husband said they look weird. <laughs> so, I don't know. And I got a couple things. I think I showed y'all in the store. I got the NC45 Studio Fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer. I have this in NW45 as well. And I use it as a corrector. It's a little bit orange but it does a great job i don't have to wear foundation i just use it under my eyes and around my mouth but i love the nc45 because this is my highlight color in that everybody's highlight color and then i bought this powder puff lippy it's a nyx powder puff lippy and i want to see it's supposed to be this color now they'd be putting that color on you know people whose skin tone ain't mine. So I don't know how it's gonna show up on me. That's like my biggest issue. That's why I usually buy from black owned brands because their models have much better range. When they be showing these lip colors on lighter people, I'll be like, girl, what do you think this is? Oh, oh. oh and I have one Amazon package. I have some leather pants from Amazon. I've been wanting these leather pants. Hmm. Okay, that color is pretty. Now let's see what, oh, this looks like it might be pretty. Okay, let's see. I don't know if the color is showing up right. Ooh. But if this color don't look right, I'm taking it back. Okay, you can always take your, even if you use your makeup, you can take it back. I usually don't end up taking it back though, I'm lying. It feels different, okay. So that's everything I got from Target. I need to go get my Amazon pants. So here are my Amazon pants. At least go ahead and pop this thing open. Where's the... Oh, they just tell you to figure it out, huh? Hmm. Okay. So these are the faux leather pants. They're kind of like a just a wash. And it's from the brand Way Runs. Let me go ahead and try these on. Let me see what they're gonna look like. I need to take a shower, y'all don't judge me. But I've been wanting to try these pants on, so I'm gonna be right back and show y'all. Okay, so I have them on. Show y'all. Hold on. Dun, dun, dun. But this is what they look like up close. Come on, thick. I like how they fit in the back because there's no gapping right here. So you can see. Made that thing look like it's tuned, baby. Yes. Uh huh. Y'all know I like tight. I haven't grown up out of that yet. Oh, there are real pockets on here, too. Real pockets. We like the pants. It's really late. It's eight something. I'm gonna jump in the shower and then I'll see y'all tomorrow. So yeah, all I'm gonna be doing is jumping in the shower and relaxing. So I'm just gonna put this stuff away and then I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm sorry, it wasn't, the, it's, it hasn't been eventful these past couple days, but hopefully it'll be tomorrow. I'll see y'all. What's up? Okay, today is Sunday. I think it's January 28th, 29th. Girl, I don't know what it is, but of course, I'm getting ready. Shout out to the leaf. 
I'm getting ready because me and my husband are taking a little quick trip out of town. It's going to be, I wouldn't even say 24 hours. So we'll be back. It will be back home by Monday. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw on a V part wig. Now this V part wig is from the doula hair. I recently did a review for them. I love this V part wig because it matches my hair perfectly. So let me just pop it on. Girl, it makes a world of difference. Some days you get ready and you're like, yes, ma'am. And then other days you're like, who is this? That's how I'm feeling today. Who is this? Let me throw this stuff in my purse and then I'll show y'all the full look. Ooh. Okay, that's better. finally made it in the room it took us i said we would get here by five we got here at 4 45 on the dot so why did you turn the home on <laughs> we're gonna get i'm gonna go ahead and get settled in what we usually do when we get in the room is clean everything down with alcohol and then we get settled in and then eat lunch. Y'all know we eat lunch late and then we can relax. That's like a whole thing for us. Do y'all clean y'all hotel rooms when you get in them? Like we clean everything. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and get changed. I showed y'all what I was wearing. I wore it with my little, this little jacket that I've been wearing because it's really, really warm <clears throat> and it's really cold up here in North Carolina. But I'm going to go ahead and get set up and I'll see y'all when we get settled in. Why is it so bright? Oh, I ain't got on no eyebrows. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me put on some eyebrows because no ma'am. I'm about to do my lashes, but it don't look right without eyebrows. Let me put on some eyebrows before I talk to y'all. So y'all, I've been telling y'all I've been wanting to do these lashes. And since we're in the hotel room, we're not doing anything. I feel like I can throw on these lashes because I don't know, I want to be cute. It's the, these are the Ardell Extended Wear Lashes. I watched a couple of videos or some girls applying it. So I hope I do it correctly. How do you open this? Oh, so this is what it looks like. You have four sets of lashes. So one for each eye, but then you have these extra ones down here. You have the application tool, the spoolie, the glue, and the remover. This is supposed to be the clamping tool. I heard that this tool is terrible. So I brought the tool from the falsies thing. I'm gonna try it out, but if it don't work for me, girl, I'm not messing up my lashes trying to prove point. Let me go get that tool. Here's the application tool. This is a good one. This one's like plasticky, so. So we're gonna take the glue. I already washed my eyes. Can you stick this in here? Oh, you can stick it in. Okay, 
I don't know if I should have stuck it in there, but I did. <laughs> so it says apply it on the underside of the lashes. Oh, <gasps> I put on too much. Bro, I put on way too much. Like, it was a lot. Uh-oh. I'm not gonna use... Okay, I got one. Girl, I done dropped <laughs> the lash into the little thingy. Okay. I did them backwards. I did the wrong eye. Wait, is this right? I think I did them backwards. Ooh, look how pretty this is. That was actually super easy. Okay, so I'm gonna have y'all watch me do the other eye. I need a chair or something. Okay, okay, okay. That was really, my hands are sticky. Like this is too much. Okay, my eyelids are literally sticking. <laughs> this eye did much better than the other eye, but I'm gonna let them dry a bit and then I'm going to do like the clamping. I wonder if I can do it now. No, it's too sticky to clamp, so. I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then I'll clamp because, ooh. But they're pretty. Y'all see them? Hopefully you saw me apply them. Y'all know I'll be just showing y'all my chin. Once you get the hang of it, no problem. This glue is like super sticky because every time I try and clamp, it won't let me clamp. And clamping is like basically going to the base of the lashes and squeezing. So let me see if I can clamp without it sticking. Nope. I probably need to close my mouth. Y'all don't want to see everything in there. Okay, the lashes are done, girl. They took me like 10 minutes. Yes, it looks so good. I'm getting a pimple on my forehead and my chin. You know, it's that time. But look. So pretty. I need to go put on my fingernail because I'm looking a fool over here with lashes. No fingernail. I also need to watch Real House Five. I'll see y'all in a minute. We about to have some Panda Express tonight. If you don't know nothing, girl, let me put this finger away. Panda Express is my ever. Oh my God. I'm about to tear up this orange chicken, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Shout out to Sheree. Okay. Are y'all watching Real Housewives of Salt Lake City? I know the girls are boycotting or were boycotting, but sis is gone. So I don't know if we're boycotting anymore. I didn't watch, but since she's gone, I may watch. I have some reels to edit so i'll probably just do that and i'll check back in with y'all and let y'all know when this stops getting sticky because it's it's sticky right now still sticky so oh and we're going on a special trip tomorrow we're shopping at outlets ew okay good morning we actually left the hotel already. I didn't do much last night except stay in the room. I went to sleep. Now we're at J. Christopher's in Woodstock before we go shopping. So we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping today, but first we have to eat. Right now it is 107, so I guess we're having brunch, January 31st. I don't even know if y'all can hear me with this music. Uh, I got this top from Amazon. It seems cute, but I don't know if I love it. Maybe if I had bigger titties. I don't know. I'm scared to take my cap off because my leave out and my dandruff, my tracks are showing a little bit. So I'm gonna keep this hat on and be hot. And sweat. This little area is cute in Woodstock. It's like a, it's a little town. We just finished breakfast and now we're gonna go to the outlet shops. 
I've been wanting to get a coach bag so they have like a coach outlet this place is like really really cute these people staring at me people just don't know how to wind their business huh so well, we're headed to the outlets right now it's like one something my goal today is to find a cute little bag because I have a bag from Steamen. the chain broke like maybe two days after I bought it from Nordstrom it was like 20 20 bucks but I want a nice cute bag that I can keep for a long time and coach has really good bags may stop by Michael Kors my husband wants to get some basketball shoes Something to hoop in. if you live in Atlanta and you're looking for an outlet store to get some purses and bags and stuff well we probably need to go see first before you start proclaiming things I looked at it <laughs> online I hear you you don't know. I don't know. And neither do you. Well, I guess you're right. I guess we'll, t I guess we'll tell you afterwards and see when we get there what type of stuff they have and whether it's worth it. But I hope it is because I would like a nice bag, but I don't want to spend, you know, the girls out here spending thousands on a bag, like just Chanel's and stuff like that. I'm not there yet. I don't know if I'll ever be there. I'm cheap. I don't, I don't like doing that. Would you spend a thousand dollars on a bag? A purse? No, I don't, I don't really wear purses. So no. It's all for me. Yeah, if you wanted to, yeah. Yeah, I don't care about that kind of stuff. As long as it lasts for a good while. Well, boom. luxury purses are supposed to be investments. They say they hold on to their values, so like Chanel's and stuff like that. Like people that buy them, That's like and they can afford them. them little cheap ones and the, the strap breaks within a week <laughs> that's exactly what i just told him about the strap stuff, break uh, do that. i thought it was a cute bag too i was so excited once i got it it looked good on you just uh oh, i need to put the address in you might need to do that. oh hold on bye okay so we're here at the outlet shops they have a whole bunch of stores it's like an outdoor situation oh puma it's actually not that cold out here. I feel really more. I got a wig on in a skull cap. I don't have it. My forehead is looking weird. I don't like where I don't like how my forehead looks. I need a hat. Put your uh, scully back on. <laughs> Here, put your scully back on. You see what I'm talking about, right? Well, because the way your hair is set up. Here, just put your scully back on. Scully makes my hair look weird, too. It doesn't actually. Neither one of them does. You just make a motion. We just got back home. We, where we go last, we went to the outlet place. We also went to go grab lunch really, really quickly because we were driving and then we were out for so long that we were hungry. We actually stayed at the outlet shops. It's called the Outlet Shops of Atlanta on Ridgewalk. We stayed out there for like a couple hours, maybe two. We're definitely gonna end up going back and there's a couple things that I want. I didn't get everything that I wanted, but I did get one thing. I got the bag that I wanted. It was for y'all from Coach. I don't think I showed it inside of the vlog. Dang, you can tell it's from an outlet. They just put it in here. You know how some of the girls, they have like these dust bags and girl, there ain't no dust bag or nothing. They just throw it down here. But I got two things. So I got a wallet from Coach. I don't know, how much was this? I told y'all already in the car, I'm not trying I'm not trying to spend a thousand dollars on a bag just yet. I'm taking baby steps. Actually, I don't even, I can't see myself. I can't see myself doing it right now. They had a 50% off sale. So this is the wallet that I got. I have another coach wallet that my husband got me. This is now my third one. I done broke my press on. This one's cute though. I like coach because I think they have great leather. Like we went into the Michael Kors store, the outlet store, and I didn't like the leather there. It was like hard. This isn't super soft, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about leather, leather, okay? But I'm in my head, I think I know what I'm talking about. I felt it, I was like, ooh, 
girl it's not giving luxury <laughs> I didn't know what I was talking about. It felt hard. Anyway, so this is a wallet. It's really cute. It just has it's just a regular wallet. I don't know why I'm showing this to y'all. Y'all know what a wallet looks like. And it'll fit in my cute little bag. Let me show y'all the bag. I have been looking at this one online. It's so cute. I wish they gave me a dust bag or something. Like to make me feel, you know, like fancy. But this is the signature Claire. Oh, so this wallet was the Pebble Leather Medium ID wallet. It was $67. Oh, girl, if I saw that price. $67 for this wallet. That's high to me. How much do y'all pay for wallets? Because I... No, actually, it was originally $188, but they had a 50% off sale, which made it $67, $68. And then, because of my husband's birthday month, he's been he had been signed up for Coach for a while so he got the extra 10% off so and also we have this look at this bag y'all look how cute I think it's cute I'm not really a fan of the C's but since you can't really see it so it's like one of those envelope bags I wish my press on nail wasn't popped off oh it's nice on the inside and they said you can wear it like double like this over the shoulder or you can wear it like like this so cute and i feel like this chain isn't gonna break on me it doesn't feel super heavy though but i think it's cute so this bag was originally 350 dollars there was a 50 percent off sale plus 10 percent off so it was 126 dollars for this bag so i wanted to get one more bag but my brain wouldn't let me do it so <laughs> i want a tote like a big sort of tote bag that i can wear but i think this one's cute it's really cute a simple everyday bag my husband also got some nike shoes from the nike outlet store he got two pairs he got these these are the Kyrie fly trap. How much were these? Uh, $79.99. 79 for these. He needed some basketball shoes because he ran his other ones down. He got these, uh, they have refurbished shoes too. So he got these Kobe Mamba Furies. These are cute. I like these. I just thought they were cute. I just saw having to pick them up. I found them. This is the last pair that they have. But these are, he got these two and in total, well, you, we only paid what? In total, it was 108 for these. That's crazy. For two pairs of shoes. Anyway, I love y'all. I need to get on ready because I still got all this stuff on. I need to change my clothes. I need to put my stuff up and unpack my bag. I saying update on the lashes. So I have uh, like an eye problem where there's like something up here that has been irritating me for the past couple months yes i need to go to the ophthalmologist don't don't read me about that but i have i put these lashes on and when i went to sleep and woke up there was an irritation under my eyelid i don't know if that lashes made it worse but outside of that they look good i washed my face this morning they feel good i still like them and they they look nice they're not too much and I feel like they added like a little extra something. Let me see. Let me get up close. They got a little bit of lint in them, I think. I like them. They look nice. So day two. Wait. So that was a full 24 hours of wearing these. They're still on. I can tug on them. I've been tugging on them. They're still on my eyes and they're not sticky anymore. They're just like regular lashes. I would definitely put these on again. And I like the glue. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. I don't know what we'll be doing, but I'll be vlogging since the vlogs before this girl. My mood was off, so I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for coming with me shopping. Ooh, no, don't put that. <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>Good afternoon, y'all. It is, is it afternoon or evening? It's 4.40. So it's still the afternoon. 
Today is February 1st. It's the first day of the month. Oh girl, I got my headphone in. With that being said, today I did some monthly planning, as you saw earlier in the vlog. And I did, I did some monthly planning and I finally cleaned this room. I'm trying to plan, hopefully, to get this furniture out as soon as possible. Because it's been in this place for much longer than I wanted it to be. So I'm trying to, you know, coordinate getting it out of my house. Because this is not going to work. We have to get it out. It's been cluttered. I can't move around in this office. So we have to get rid of this stuff but i'm trying to plan out the month or at least the next two weeks so i can set myself up for success this month i don't know about y'all but january oh let me put this down because january was about as ashy as my lips that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> january would it was an ashy month january didn't feel like the first day of the month it felt like the first day of 2022 it felt like a continuation of 2021 <clears throat> what was i talking about oh i just i said i felt like the new year starts in february oh happy black history month hello grub happy black history month what y'all doing this month celebrating just being black i really ain't been doing nothing today i'm sorry i've been talking about this period this whole time my period finally started for a good two weeks girl i ain't right <laughs> I ain't right in the head, chat out. I just be tired. My hormones just be completely imbalanced. I take fenugreek. I'm not saying that I'm irrational. I'm just like scattered and stuff like that. Cause I don't like when people be saying that we are rational. Well, I don't adjust to my body very well. So I don't say like, oh, I'm tired. I shouldn't do this. I try and still push through. Like I'm not, it's not that time of month. And I shouldn't do that because it's a lot. Y'all let me know if y'all have PMS. I don't really know what the girls call it, but I, it's it's bad. So I've been extremely tired, but really anxious and antsy. I sleep really well, but I wake up in the middle of the night, like really like, you know, I wanted to go somewhere today with y'all, but I was way too tired. Um, in the meantime, I wanted to give y'all an update on these lashes now. They are stuck together. They're giving spider. It is so creepy. My husband was like, when are you taking those off? I said, I'm testing it for the vlog. In real life, I'm t like this side isn't as bad, but this side, like they're really stuck together. I've been brushing them all day. One good thing I'll say about that glue is that these lashes aren't going nowhere, but what they are doing is sticking together in a very, very creepy way. Very creepy. I don't know what to do about that except take them off, but I kind of like how they look still. <laughs> so I don't know what to do about that. Y'all tell me how do you separate your like lash clumps or lash extensions? I, it looks like a whole bunch of bad mascara. And I'm okay with that. As long as you think they're mine, girl. Anyway, so it's the end of the night. So I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all for watching. I'm sorry. I feel like this vlog is really boring and my mood is screwed up, but I don't believe that we need to be happy all the time. Obviously, because I know I'm not. I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning.